Last time on Observation, we found the dreaded Hexagon figure. He appeared to us, or she, or it, or whatever it is, appeared in front of us suddenly, hypnotizing our astronaut. Nobody gets to hypnotize our meat bag. That's our job. So in this episode, we're going to find out what the heck that thing was, and maybe a little bit more about the story. If you guys haven't seen episode 1 and 2, what are you doing here? Go back and watch those. You're missing a bunch of the story. I've been Morphologist. Let's get back into Observation. What are you? What do you want with me? With my human? Sending me these weird signals. Oh. D do you want me to re repeat them back to you? Okay. I'll try to remember what I just saw, though I wasn't really paying attention. Hmm. Circle. Circle dot. Fine. Okay. Circle dot. Line. There we go. Circle dot. Pyramid. Right, right. Two. One. And then it was... It was the last one. Oh, D, I think. Circle dot. Pyramid. Right line, right line. Big circle thing. Okay, creepy thing. Creepy hexagon. Please don't kill me. Circle dot. Bounce off. Pyramid. Circle dot. Bounce off. Pyramid. Circle dot. Bounce off. Pyramid. Okay. Doing these puzzles are making me get closer and closer to this thing. Is that a good thing? I can't imagine it's a good thing. Module EAS-3, 
All contact points are unresponsive. Well, they maybe took some stress during the spin. Okay, so the power is fine, but the hull connection points are misaligned. That we can fix. I can't get them open from here, but you should be able to reclamp the contact points from outside. Looks like you're going on your first spacewalk, Sam. Before you go outside, though, we need to update your Sphere firmware to allow for exterior use. To upgrade, you'll have to scan the barcodes in EAS-11. Once you're fully updated, we'll get you outside. I'm granting you EVA permission now. The internal airlock hatch is now open. Let's go to 11. Okay. Hold on, let me find out where I am. I'm in EAS 8. I'm in 8. I need to go to 11. I'm going to 9. No, wait. I'm going the wrong way. That was creepy. The scan the barcodes. Where did she say the scan? What would you like me to do? You need to get outside to those clamps in the sphere. You might have to flash your firmware in EAS 11 first. Oh, barcode. Can't be the barcode. It'd be kind of cool if I could see my reflection in the in the helmets, but the game's already pretty gorgeous as it is. So, where the heck are the barcodes? Clear upgrade. For additional abilities helpful in carrying out the relevant work, prior extravehicular activity EVA, scanning the appropriate upgrades with the sphere in EAS 11 will allow new firmware to be applied, enabling these uh, features using a terminal or placing a request on SAM. Users may combine the script compiler with all feature scripts to apply. Once applied, these features remain permanent and require full reboot to remove. Okie dokie. So I need. Yellow, orange, red. All right. Combine files in the memory core. Okay.
that's you all set up. Okay, get those module clamps fixed, Sam. Okay, get the module clamps fixed. Ba -dup -ba -dup -ba -dup -ba -dup. Doing this properly, decompressing. The control panel where you can rearrange the clamps is on the outer hull of EAS three. Okay. We could maybe check out a US twelve while we're out here. Woohoo! I'm outside now. to do Emma Sam get those clamps disengaged I'll be watching your feed I don't want to look at this Sam, it's still there we can check it out Looks to be empty. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to, but you know what? That's cool. Ooh. Wait, what? I was trying to unlock the door after the lockdown. The module started shaking, and then Sam jettisoned the module? How did Sam jettison the fucking module? Oh, wait, no, you jettisoned the module. Emma, I'm in my suit. I don't know what is happening. I was trying to unlock the door after the lockdown, and the module started shaking, and then Sam jettisoned the module. How did Sam jettison the fucking module, and he shouldn't be able to do that? I'm going to try and work my way around the station exterior. Ah, shit. Re-engage EAS-03 hash clamps. Yes, zero three hatch clamps. Straight down, Sam. The controls are at the bottom of the EAS arm. Look for the controls on EAS-3. Okay, where are the controls on EAS-3?
There we go. Okay, that's how we do it. All right. You gotta follow the directions. <laughs> it's just as easy as following the directions, and that was that's how you do it. All right. Well, probably should have done that the first time. That's it. The whole connection points are reading true. I think that's working. Yeah, it's working. It's gonna take a few minutes while the module connection runs its pressure checks. Sam, while you're out there, take a closer look at the damage you detected earlier on the station exterior. What can you see? The solar arrays are showing evidence of torsion and stress. Whatever this station has gone through, the arrays had no chance. Take. I don't remember where I came out of. I'm bad. Oh, there it is. And thus concludes episode 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it, there's more on the way later this week. Now I know many of you mentioned down below in the last episode that this is actually on the Epic Games Store. And yes, I don't agree with Epic Games and the way that they run their business. However, I don't want that to discourage you guys from supporting great developers like the ones who made Observation. These guys have clearly tried very hard to make a very great game, and so I want to encourage you guys, if you're interested, in purchasing this game and trying it out for yourself. It sucks that you have to support Epic Games in the process, but you can't let them get in the way of great developers. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys, as always, next time.